Hi guys! In today's video, we're going to see how to display an image on the browser. So, how can we display images on the screen? So, the first thing to do is to use the tag image, which is this one, I-N-G, okay? And so, this tag is a self-closing tag, which means we're not going to have one tag like this and another one like this. You see? I mean, like this. You see, the, there is no such tag for, uh, for images. For images, we have only one tag, which is, which is going to be closed with a backslash like this at the end. All right? And inside the image, we're going to use what we call attributes. So attributes are some kind of tools that we use to complete the information that we want to have about the image. Like, let me show you how can we use them. So, like we have here the image tag, and we can use the, uh, the attribute SRC, which stands for source. For this attribute, we're going to specify the source of the image, okay? And we're going to write it, we're going to put the source uh, between this, this, uh, these quotes, okay? So, let's say that we want to display image of uh, like a cat, all right? We're gonna go to uh, Google and look for some cats images. Let's go here and let's type here. Let's type here cats and let's click on images. So let's take, for example, let's choose a cat. This is an angry angry one uh, yeah well let's grab this one it's beautiful let's take this one learn baby cat so to get the link uh, of the uh, picture we're gonna right click on the image like this and we're gonna click on this one which means uh, copy the address of the image like this and we're gonna get back to our editor and then paste the address here like this okay so normally like this we have created our image so we can display it on our browser let's save all this and uh, go to google to have a look at the results let's go back here and refresh. So here, here is our image. So it is, it is too big. Okay, so we're, we're gonna scroll down and scroll to the right to have our image, but we're gonna resize it, and we're gonna resize it using two other attributes which are width of the image, like for example, we're going to put uh, 300 and the height, we can, we can put the width and the height or only uh, the width uh, with quotes. I don't know why I have put the uh, comma, but something like this is going to be good. So let's see now. Okay, so here is our image. All right, or there is there is something else that we can do. We can only use the width without the height because when we use the width, the height is automatically uh, resized also. So we can go back to Google and see what we have, and here we are. But for the width and uh, height properties these are css properties and not html properties so before i mean before html5 uh, we could uh, use we could have used them uh, inside uh, the the image tag with html but for html5 i mean this is just uh, confusing and if you add like uh, css properties with 
HTML properties, it's going to be just a mess. So what I would suggest is that just for, for the purpose of this video, we're going to keep the width here uh, to 300, okay, just so that we can see the image on the screen of uh, the computer. But from now on, we're going to use the width property in the CSS, all right? So what else can we add? We can add uh, as attributes, we can add the alt attribute, which is AFT, alt attribute, and which stands for alternative. And what is the goal of this AFT? So the goal is, in case if the image is not displayed on the screen, we're going to have an alternative text that are going to describe what the image is. Like this image is about a baby cat, and we're going to make we're going to write here, baby cat. Like you know, sometimes uh, the, the internet can get slower or uh, we can have problems with loading pages and sometimes images just don't load uh, very well. So uh, whenever an image is not loaded well as it should be, we're going to have this alternative text instead. Okay? And what else can we use as attributes also? We can use, like, for example, the title uh, attribute. Title. And we can write this is a cat. And what does this title attribute do? Actually, what it does is that when you hover the image, you're going to see the title. Let's have a look here on the browser. Let's refresh. So you see the, the pointer of my mouse is here. Okay, and now I'm gonna hover the, uh, the image. And you see it displays the text that is, this is a cat. So this is a text that describes the image and it is also very useful. So this is the code for an image that is on a website. I mean, that is not on our computer. Now, how can we display an image that is on our computer? Like we have it in some folder and we want to display it. We don't want to use the link to the website that hosts the uh, image, but we want to take the image and save it on our desktop, for example, and then after that display it. So let's, let's take an image here, for example, let's take a random image. Let's take an image of some country, like, for example, let's say Italy. We're going to look for Italy. Okay, so let's click here on images. And let's say that uh, we want to save this image to our desktop. Save. Okay. HTML course. And then I'm going to name it Italy. Okay. All right. So now to display the image, we're going to do this, the same thing. We're going to use image tag and the attribute SRC, which means source, the source of our image. And we're going to put it between these quotes. And then we're going to use another attribute, which is alt. And we're going to say that this is Italy image. And we can use the title also to say um, Italy's beautiful landscape. Okay? And then we're going to close the tag. But in the SRC attribute, what are we going to put here? So what we're going to put here is the the link 
to our image which is saved here inside this folder so we have it here this is our image all right so we're gonna copy this italy the name of our image and put it here inside the quotes however we have to end our the name of our image with the extension of our image so the extension of the image we have so many extensions we have jpg we have a jpeg which is j e p e g i think we have png we have uh, the uh, j g i f g images so to make sure of the extension that we have we're, we're gonna just right click on our image and right to the bottom we're gonna click on properties or you can just look at it here you see so this is the extension or we, we can look at it look at it here you see right click and go to properties and here we have the format of our image so it's jpg so we're going to go back to our editor and add the extension dot jpg like this and save so and like Add the width because if we don't we're gonna have the image which can take which is gonna be displayed on all the screens gonna be so big so for the moment and as I said before for the sake of this video we're gonna keep the width here in the image tag and we're gonna go to the browser to see the results here so you see we have our image which is displayed so let's for example let's suppose that we have forgotten uh, to make or to add this uh, extension jpg and we want to display our image here okay so you see we're not gonna have anything but instead we're gonna have the alternative text that we have written in our editor okay so uh, this is all for this video i hope you liked it if you did give us a thumb up and don't forget to share the video